Well, well, good afternoon, everybody. Today is February 9th, 2020, and today, this is Fire Alarm Test 35. And I know I'm sorry that I kept you guys waiting. Oh, excuse the shadow. I'm, I have a lamp, an extra lamp up here so I can have a little more light because this, the, the top overhead light doesn't do very well with this alarm. So, all right. So let's review the device for Fire Alarm Test 35. As you can see, and today we're going to be testing the Simplex 4903-9219. So we're going to be testing the 40 We're going to be testing the 4903-9219. It's one of these rectangular Simplex mechanical Horn strobe, so this one is mechanical, and I knew they make electronic versions with electronic horn. That sounds identical to a true alert, but this is not electronic. This is mechanical, so because it has a mechanical horn. And it's got a 15 candela strobe. And it's got the Simplex logo at the bottom right here. So, so anyways, let's look at the device. And plus, this has a free run strobe. It's not smart sync or anything like that. And I don't think this has smart sync at all. It's free run. So let's look at the device, shall we? As you can see, it is one of these rectangular horn strobes. It's got the horn on the left and it's got and it's got the strobe on the right. Which I think is pretty cool. And there's your simplex logo down there. So this is gonna be my first time testing a simplex device in front of camera today. So this is basically going to be my first simplex device I'm going to be testing. And I know I've been hanging on to this device for seven months now, and you guys not being able to hear it being in action. And I think now it's the time we see it in action. But first, we're going to look at the back. Let's turn it around. As you can see, it has the mechanical horn. <clears throat> and it's got the simplex logo at the bottom, right there at the bottom of the label, too. So this device is a 4903-9219, and this was made in the 33rd week of 1997. And, it, and it's a pretty cool, it's got a 15 candela strobe, and it does 60 flashes per minute. That's, that's a fast strobe, and this thing is 24 volts DC, and I'm not going to be using my 12 volt power supply to power this thing. I'm going to be using my... 12 volt batteries that I'm borrowing from my Simplex, my fire alarm control panel right there. So I'm going to be borrowing these to power up this device. So, as you can see, it is an old device. This thing is 23 years old. Let's, let's tip it back down. As you can see, it is four wires, so it's got two wires for the strobe and two wires for the horn. Which I think is pretty cool. So, let's turn it back around. So this is going to be my first time testing an actual simplex horn strobe. So, anyways, let's start out by testing it. Here we go. Okay, okay, now we're going to start out by testing the strobe. So, and the strobe is going to flash quite fast, and, and don't worry, if it's flashing fast, it's not going to hurt the strobe in any way because I'm only powering it with 24 volts DC. So it should be fine because I heard with these older simplex strobes, when you use 27 volts on this thing, it could fry the strobe. It could fry it. So just to be aware, and I've heard about it a long time ago. So we're going to connect the power to the batteries and we're going to power up, up the strobe first. So here we go. Three, two, one. As I was saying, it's 15 candela. Let's turn off the lights. Hey Google, turn off the light. Yeah, that is a little bit bright, but as, it, as I was saying, it's 
15 candela and it's flashing 60 flashes per second. I mean, 60 flashes per minute. Sorry, guys. Got it wrong. And you can also hear the capacitor, too. I'm not sure if you, you can hear it, but you can hear that high pitch whistling, constant beep noise from the capacitor that's in there. Yeah, you can hear the capacitor that's in it. Turn back on the lights. Hey Google, turn on the light. Okay, okay, I think we can shut off the strobe now. So there you guys go. On to the next part. Okay. Now we're going to test the horn and strobe together. So, anyways, this horn is mechanical, and it's going to sound like any other mechanical horn strobe, just like the mechanical horn strobes I've tested in the past, like the, like the, mm, what other, like the, the Wheelock 7002T, the, the Natural Time horn strobe, the Faraday horn strobe, and... And others before. Uh, yeah, that's all I've tested in the past. Like, Wheelock 7002 T's and other mechanical horn strobe that I have in my collection. So, let's test it out. Anyways, let's just switch on the power in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> That's very loud. So good thing I had hearing protection on because these things may <laughs> blow your ears out because these are really loud horn strobes. Loud even on mechanical horns because me these mechanical horn strobes are really loud. Just like the electronic versions of these. Yeah, there are electronic versions of these that sound exactly like a true alert, but this is a mechanical version, so it's more of a a hum instead of a e sound anyways let's go on to the next part and for the final part of the test we're gonna be using the simplex t-bar my simplex 2099 9797 97 96 excuse me 97 96 uh, I forgot the model but this this pole station used to be addressable but it's converted into a conventional pole station so mainly you would find <clears throat> this set up on in schools with older simplex systems like on simplex 4005s or simplex 4004s and so this is a common combo that they have from the the 1990s pretty much so anyways to save time let's activate it three two one
Yeah, it does move across the table when it vibrates sometimes, but, um, so, yeah, because this wire is kind of heavy, um, yeah, I need to get some wires, like, newer ones, but let's give it one more pull. Pull down. Let's do drill mode. Here it goes. Yep. That's basically all it is. Okay then. Kept my hearing protection on, so my hearing is completely fine. So, anyways, I guess that's all for now. So I hope you enjoyed this simplex rectangular horn strobe from 1997. So... This is the, yep, the strobe is free run, and also, hopefully you guys enjoyed Fire Alarm Test 35, number 35, so, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed that test. So, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed Fire Alarm Test 35, and the long, another system test that's not, not been made for almost two months now, so... I know I've been hanging on to this device for seven months now and not able to not able to be tested, but now it's tested. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this simplex my first simplex device I've tested in front of camera. So this is basically my first simplex device. So thank you so much for watching Fire Alarm Test number 35. And next will be number 36, and I'll make that in, in the future. So, this series will still continue on pretty soon, so thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day.